Hi there, welcome. You can meet Andy, my colleague, who has been here forever. I've been here before Brian and Anna Maria were here, but it's not true. One time I said that when, when Brian and Anna Maria were present, and Anna Maria didn't skip a beat, and she said, yeah, Andy came with the property. <laughs> <laughs> How many years have you and I actually eaten lunch together at Hippocrates? Almost 20 years. For 20 years, and this is, this is the very first time that we're being filmed eating together. It is true. Yeah. It is true. It's, this is a little bit like like a porn set, isn't it? This is like food porn. We've been, we've been doing this together for over 20 years, but this is the first time that we're filming it. <laughs> so I am a little nervous and I'm a little shy because it looks like it's just us two here, but there's really a whole crew of people. And so, you know. Everybody I, has to eat anyway. Right, and I, and I am willing to try anything. Oh, we have the meatloaf. Or okay. called nut love. Okay. All right. I'm ready to eat. What do you say? Why not? This is good stuff. Okay. Thank so, God we have this such high quality food that we can eat. You know, in the <laughs> traditional way, you we, take it and thank God. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm ready. So, dear God, thank you so much for this bounty. Thank you for our friendship. I'm going to start eating. Do you, you don't mind, do you? Okay, not all right. at all. Let us do that. So you get to see sprouts hanging out of our mouth. That just comes with the territory. Yeah. You know, if you want to be a vegan, you know, get used to looking like a grazing animal. It doesn't <laughs> have to be. It can be very natural. For right. example, yeah, let's see you when you it. take, see, it is so good to eat like this. Natural. You're so sophisticated. It is natural. <laughs> oh, I get what you're saying. It's like a mindfulness thing. It is. Right? It is. You get to enjoy the flavor of it. You Play. say that every day. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the problem is, if I take it full, I have to finish it. Okay, because you don't want to waste food. I don't want to waste food. The lettuce with the nut sauce, amazing. And just to celebrate the, the mukbang origins, we got kimchi, which is South Korean, you know, um, what do you call it? Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, yeah. Fermented. Cabbage. For, healthy for digestion. Not only that, it's one of my favorites. And then some people think, well, if I'm going to be a raw food vegan, I have to say goodbye to my culture. And no. uh, to some degree, that's actually true. No, I'm only kidding. No, to, <laughs> no you, you know, you get to celebrate that's your culture. You, have to, you get to be creative. What was that? What did you just say? I don't know where this idea came from, but let's talk about how colorful this food is. You it know? is true. I mean, we could actually call this the rainbow diet. Don't you think? That's food. right. Because I like to have There's all food. the colors. I like to have food on my plate that represents each color of the rainbow. Colorful is, is more happy. You know, besides being healthier, this is happy food. You want to be happy? Go vegan. Yeah. Let that go viral. Go vegan or go home. Go, go vegan home. or go home? How long have you been a vegan? Or how long have you been eating like this? Well, around 20 years. Uh -huh. Yeah, same here. You know, you were talking about it gets boring or something like that, but that's not my experience. No. Actually, it becomes tastier. The more or the longer you eat, the food becomes tastier. And the longer you eat, the longer you live. That's another truth. Especially this way. The other... No, it just makes sense. If you... If you eat for 90 years, you're going to live you know, <laughs> <Long years. laughs> Which will give us energy. Asparagus? Asparagus. And the, especially the raw asparagus. Well, that is different. <laughs> I was challenging you to a duel. <laughs>
Not now. Because you already bit into yours? Yeah. Chicken. Especially in this, <laughs> we need to be careful. Yeah, if you haven't made me sick yet, after all these years, <laughs> you're not going to make me sick now. <laughs> See, I, with the napkin in my, in my other hand, fork and napkin. Yeah. Because that way, you, you, can, know, you can do damage control right away. <laughs> and it is interesting to me. And, you know, you told me in advance that there's nothing off limits. But it is interesting to me that we use paper at both ends. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a good conversation. And speaking of which, you know, we really do have strange conversations at the food That table is here. true. That is true. At Hippocrates, you can expect anything. <laughs> They'll talk about cloning when they talk, right. eat. Like, how did, how did it all come out or something like that? And we think that that means how did the events unfold, but that's not what they mean. They literally mean how, how did it all come out kind of thing. Because it's all about your state of mind. Just to bring it back to some psychological <laughs> stuff we're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> well, okay, Chandra, can't you see the infomercial now? Now we can. I think we just did. Oh, you are very consistent I'm in consistent? this because you are wearing a pumpkin tie. Look at that. Yeah, for like meeting to... video, it's very appropriate. I know, and they can, they'll only be able to show this video around um, Thanksgiving and Halloween. I think All right. that's excellent. So, thank you very much for joining us. We will be actually eating even without the camera at the Wigmore Center, and you are all welcome anytime. I, I like to call it lunch and learn. Lunch and learn. Right, it is. So, eat with you soon. See Bye. you soon. Bye. Bye.